Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop and start an animation. We're going to take this same project uh, that we did the last video on and just uh, go ahead and stop the butterfly midway. Have it pause for a second and then continue its flight. Now we've got to look at two different things. We got to look at the, the butterfly moving across the screen, have it stop and then have the wings also stop. Remember, there's two animations here. There's two animations at work and we have to stop both of them right there in the middle, have them pause and then continue on their way. Somebody had asked that question in the comments and I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys how to get this done. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this spacebar. Or pause and then I'm going to open up the file okay so here is the original file I'm gonna go ahead and uh, center this and hit play this one does not stop this one does not stop it just goes on it's merry way so the first thing I gotta do is pause this body this one this I'm gonna turn on the curve I have it hidden I'm just gonna turn on the visibility so you can see and so we want to do a little, uh, right there on frame 39, modify the curve. I'm gonna go into edit mode by hitting tab. Uh, and I'm going to hide the, well, I can just move it out of the way. I'm gonna grab this vertex and I am going to right click, set handle to vector. And then I can go ahead and move this independently. So I, what I want to do is I want it to come in, boop, land right there, and then just leave also. Um, and so that's going to be an abrupt kind of a stop. So as soon as it lands right there on frame 39, that's where we're going to have it stop. So the first part of it's done is to manipulate that curve. And then I'm going to go back to edit mode select the body and then here there are no keyframes just the start and stop from 0 to I mean from 1 to 80 if we remember correctly we animated this using a constraint um, so here's a constraint the object constraint is follow path and the offset is animated so right here at 39 I'm going to create a keyframe right here and I'm going to copy this number. Command C to copy. I'm going to go all the way to till it ends. Maybe about to 70. Well, it, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to stretch out these uh, these numbers. So at 55, I'm going to have it be right here. I am going to paste the same number that we copied from frame 39 and then keyframe it keyframe it now it's going to fly stop and then take off from 55 now I did notice that if you play it it's just barely a little pause so what I'm going to do is I am going to stretch this out to about uh, 150, zoom out, center it. What I'd like to do is uh, adjust it. I want it to uh, last a little longer, maybe 30 frames, maybe 40 frames from 40 to 80. And then this one, maybe not that much, maybe... 30 frames from 40 to 70 and then this one I'm going to stretch it out to about 120 and so it's going to go a little bit slower check this out so it's going to land there and hold and then take off so I like that uh, if you notice it kind of shakes we had that little vibration on there to make it to give it a little bit of realism let's take that off let's reveal the graph editor and you can see that there is a noise 
modifier on that uh, on that path so we can take that off easy boom there it is and let's see what that looks like and it goes in stop and continues awesome so that's the first part of the whole thing is just to get that butterfly to stop the other thing I'd like to do is, is stop the wings so let's stop the wings from flapping so I'm gonna have to hit pause select this first wing this is the right wing and I'm gonna click on um, rotation X rotation so we can see this I'm gonna zoom in on this just like this and I can see that there's a couple of free keyframes one two three three keyframes and there's a cycles modifier I'm gonna take that out as well very very simple way to do this is to just copy these keyframes and repeat them until frame um, 39 so remember this is not uh, animated um, these keyframes are not what this represents this represents the motion of the wing and this represents the color so we have to be careful with these so I'm gonna say copy command C to copy and then command V to paste go to this frame 15 paste go to this frame paste this frame paste and then one last time paste and so now what happens is you hit play that right wing stops and then it has to continue so at frame 80 let's start oh I'm sorry frame 70 let's start flapping again paste 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 all the way till it's out and then I think the last one right there so it ends at 120 so if you notice the right wing it stops and then it takes off pretty cool now I if there's another way to adjust the cycle modifier um, to stop and then start again I'm not exactly sure how to do that this is just an easy way to copy and paste some keyframes in the timeline so that's cool let's get it done on the other wing let's select this left wing right there that one let's go ahead and uh, put this right in the view and let's uh, do the same thing we're gonna copy these keyframes and take off this take off this uh, cycles modifier right here take it off copy the keyframes copy and then paste right on frame 8 paste you know the drill all the way to frame 39 and then starting back up at frame 70 paste 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 And we'll stop. We'll stop there. So let's check it out. Play butterfly stops and takes off. I think we've got one. I'm gonna undo this last one there, and it should be the same as the other. So stop, changes color, and then it takes off. Awesome. And uh, we didn't mean to, but it changes color when it stops and it just landed perfectly. Now, the background, you notice that it stops nowhere. If you want, if you want, you can adjust maybe the background so that um, it stops like maybe on that leaf right there. Uh, maybe put a flower in the background and then it'll make a little bit more sense. It's up to you guys. So I'm gonna hit play again. And that's it we're done hey guys I hope that you've liked the video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one thank you guys